nine days ago. Oh my God. You would not think Flyburst Dignitas wow. would have this level of importance. But it absolutely feels like it does here, as FlyQuest is yet to win a game. How would you get an odd number when you kept to hours? If it was nine days, yeah. you say it was like 219 hours. Yeah, from the start of LCS to the moment of the presentation. Oh, I see. You yeah. You're so fudging the yeah. Able to just end on bottom, no problem for him. Yeah, the secret sauce of that Quinn versus Renekton interaction is even if Renekton's first dash finds you, nice flash escape from Tomo there, but Vulcan and FlyQuest are still ready to go in. First blood. He's unable to get it. Ivern does pop Daisy, but the Herald should be smited already. Yeah, Rich and Santorin. Can he get the E angle? Trying to get away here. Yeah, Rich uh, trying to get over the wall there. Flashes. Diamond's there to protect him. Impact pops the Dominus, but it's a no flash Renekton. Santorin's the target now. Impact stuns him up, and FlyQuest gonna grab kill number two. Nice chase down kill for FlyQuest. What else can they get in the aftermath? Boots. Again, the importance of boots in range versus melee matchups. Pretty paramount. But in mid lane, Jensen going for some burst onto Vikla. Remember, Vikla already got rid of the flash from Jensen last time around. So with Vulcan and Spika rotating up, it's an easy kill for the Fly Quest mid laner. A 3 0 game now for Fly. That tower's dead, Flowers. Activation of the Rift Trail means Rich will indeed. Oh, wow. Santorin going in from a dive here, but I don't know about this one. He's going to tank a ton of damage. Santorin, what was that? He gets impact, the ticket right back into the game. Is that... Rich is gonna be careful now, he might die too. That was terrible. You can say that again, Flowers, because the tower wasn't quite dead yet. You have to let Shelly charge in there and then slowly finish it off. But he goes in tower range. Impact punishes the weak side king yet again, Flowers. He gets his kill. He even allows the defense of the tower, but bottom side dive as well. Likewise going in from a dive here. Jensen ready to reinforce. Flash! Three-man stun coming out with the Tibbers. Jensen gets the kill on Vulcan, and Spika has to flash back over the wall to escape. Diamond's ready for a uh, top laner play, knowing he Ooh. can tilt the jungler. Tomo is toast. Yeah, Tomo's gone. Nice. Nice moves from Vikla there. Three out of the five kills for FlyQuest are on that Azir in the mid lane. This means this guy is deadly in those 1v1s, especially with how Kraken Slayer works now with reapplication for the Herald to summon up in mid. Diamond might just die. He goes in for the Magnet Storm, but he crashes down on nothing with a TP ready to bring in reinforcements. Prince finally gets a kill, and FlyQuest is feeling good. That's perfect for FlyQuest. They want the straight up fight, and Shelly's going to lead the charge into turret number two. They can keep up the pressure here. They're going to keep looking for more. Rich, he popped the cleanse, but the dredge line's ready to follow. Rich wants to fire back a little bit further now, and Vulcan's going to die. So is Impact, so is Prince. Oh. Dignitas going in, but Centaurin won't be able to get any more. The Sun Disc keeps him protected as Tomo's ready for the chase. He's got red, he's got purple, he's going to mow him down. Double kill back over to Ophelios, and the completed ace for Dig. Smooth there for Set themselves up. They've got definitely some very quick possibilities. You only take damage if somebody's alive to deal damage to you. Tomo's gonna get engaged on here by Vulcan. Ooh. Diamond dives in, but he's all alone. Ooh. That's the second time this game. These Rel engages have not been coordinated, and Diamond just drops dead. Yeah, that was for sure some miscommunication too, because the rest of the team was not going in. All right, Flowers, aftermath of that play, no rel on your squad left. FlyQuest starting up the Baron. What do you do? Well, Tomo's got Infernum, so we might be able to see some AoE I'm down here. The the Centaurin blasted back into the pit, but a beautiful ulti to get himself back to safety and kill Vikla off in return. <laughs> FlyQuest in some trouble now. Vulcan's going to be picked up next. They already killed Azir, and there's problems for FlyQuest. Rich is going to 1v1 impact as Prince comes in to try to help him. Rich in a 1v2. He can't quite find it. Prince and impact stay alive, but the Baron and goes over to all right let's see how this happened okay so they're looking for vulcan they couldn't quite get the range on the stun there on the q and vulcan uh, just nails was, him with the hook yeah that was just disrespectful from rich i don't know what that was and especially yeah. losing the baron on a champion that always wants to be alone impact went in now diamond's gonna magnet storm on a couple of valuable targets they kill prince they kill impact and they're going even further tier two turret's about to die vic will pop in the stasis trying to keep himself alive he'll at least take diamond with them but dignitas have already killed three a double kill back over to rich redeeming himself for the pick in mid lane as dignitas might just end the game right here yeah they've got baron and they're marching towards those nexus turrets
Here we go, Vulcan and Spica. Not a lot of damage to speak of between them as Dignitas continues going forward. They'll find Vulcan first. One Nexus turret's already gone. Spica's planting some grass, but it's only flowers for his tomb. <laughs> the Nexus turrets fall, and Dignitas goes up to three and three.